Here we are. This is your I-50 infrared camera. I've got a holding here in my in the pistol grip format. This is the trigger finger to capture images. As you can see from the front, you've got the laser pointer here. Your lens cap is kind of dangling along. The focus ring, which is important. You want to make sure every every image you take is focused. Now here we are. We'll get this going right now. Refreshing the screen. So now as you can see, it's coming back up. Now it'll go into a sleep mode um, as the camera is operating. That's common. That saves battery life. So now here we are. We have the screen open. Looking at a few things here. A little mark on the wall so we can kind of see what we're looking at. Focus in on that. Now here we have the camera operation. So now we're going to go and we're going to go to menu. And you can see on the menu side there you have the camera. I'll toggle to the right and I'll see where I have uh, infrared camera, picture in picture, and digital camera. So we'll go to picture in picture. This is an excellent sales tool because now you have the infrared image positioned in front of the thermal image. Again, the screen is a nice size so that you're going to be able to show people using both the thermal image as well as the infrared or digital image in one screen. It really helps the layman to understand and, and clearly uh, recognize what you're trying to show them uh, as, uh, as the inspector. And you can go back to the menu, and you go back to this, and we'll just go just digital. Now we're in a straight digital image. You can use this to take uh, your digital pictures because you're really only restricted to the size of the SD card as to how many images you can capture. We can go up from there. Now we'll go back to the camera. Now we'll go to measurement. Let's go back to the camera. We'll go to infrared. Now we'll go back to measurement. Now we can have a temperature spot temperature. There's a little spot meter in the middle. That will tell you what the temperature is at that spot. You can also go to the area maximum. And that can be either a full image or a center image. Now here you go. We've got the flying spot. And it's kind of floating around the uh, center of the screen. And what that's doing is it's going to find the hottest temperature within the area that we're looking at. We go back to the measurement. We can go back to the area max. And we're going to go center area. And now it's going to find the hottest temperature within this box. So there's a little mark on the wall there and we can kind of see where it's it's seeking out a warm spot uh, on the wall. Now that's a great analytical tool. Uh, you can also use this in a sales format. When you show the customer that, well wait a minute, there's a, there's a warm area here in the uh, in, in the wall and that's indicating a, a void or a failure in the insulation. You notice up in the upper left hand corner you've always got the battery always telling you what your battery life is so that really helps that you don't have a uh, an Arnold Schwarzenegger moment where your battery is dying on you. You can go back here to the measurement you can also do the area minimum and now it will tell you the coldest spot. This is perfect for finding moisture when you're looking for moisture intrusion in a wall, here you're going to find uh, find that moisture very quickly. It's going to identify it, and then when the customer you want to show the customer, it's like, well, let's let's look at this in a picture-in-picture -picture format. Now you have the flying spot meter, the cold coldest spot within that area, and you're using picture-in-picture. -picture. Go right back to the infrared. Now, don't be afraid to change palettes. Sometimes a grayscale will give you a clearer picture of what you're seeing. I can tell you that customers really like rainbow. Rainbow is very popular. It's very popular. Um, I personally prefer to scan in iron or grayscale. But when you go to show someone, it, it, rainbow really helps for them to 
you know, see the pretty pictures and, 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 and actually understand it more clearly. All right, we're going to go, uh, I'm going to go to a different, cam a different camera setting here in just a minute. Be right back.